It's amazing how relaxing it can be when sitting in front of a warm fireplace. It's times like this that your mind can wander off to all kinds of places. I remember when I had my first car, it felt very freeing. I could go anywhere at any time and travel for many miles if I wanted to. I could drive through areas that have amazing scenery or go on a camping trip and relax amongst nature for a while, perhaps build a campfire too to keep me warm whilst looking out over the amazing views. And I would bring my dog along for the journey as he always seems to love the outdoors. Or maybe a drive along the coast on a road that stays close to the seafront for miles and miles. It's funny how now and then different things come to mind. I sometimes wonder if one day in the future every car in the world will be driverless. Just step into the car, give a destination and then just relax while the car takes you there. And maybe we'll all have a feature on our mobiles where we could tell our car to come and pick us up from wherever we are and then simply wait for a moment for it to arrive. Perhaps they'll be so good in the future that you could even have a rest in the comfort of your own vehicle while it gets you from A to B. Or let your car drive you through the night as you sleep for a few hours. And just maybe, when the car gets you to your destination, it could go off by itself and park up automatically. Wouldn't that be nice? to never have to park the car yourself ever again. I think technology could definitely make our lives better, but often the simpler things in life can make us happy too, such as being in front of a fireplace whilst feeling warm and comfortable and perhaps having a drink as well. It can get quite cold here in the winter you wouldn't want to stay outside for too long on the coldest days. I keep myself warmer by moving around and not stopping anywhere for too long. Even a slow walkabout is better than standing still when it's cold. It tends to feel even colder when walking near the fields as the cold wind blows across the open land, making the temperatures drop that little bit lower. I can often see the horses out here, even when it's well below zero. I wonder if they feel as cold as I feel, especially when it's cold and windy. Well, around here they're only let out for a short while in the winter days before they're taken back to their stable where they're very much cared for. Can you imagine being out here, riding along on a horse? Or sat on a sleigh, being pulled by horses? Maybe just some gentle exercise? Or go galloping in the woods, that would definitely help the horse stay warmer on those very cold days. How about those places that get extremely cold, like Alaska, where temperatures can drop below minus 50 degrees Celsius or minus 60 Fahrenheit. This area may get cold at times, but it does look very scenic. I think it would be great to take a look around this place. 
I bet their train rides would be a good experience, seeing many amazing views from the comfort of the train. Or perhaps go out on a boat, with views of the snowy mountains all around. Or maybe even a helicopter ride, to see what it's like from high up. I think I'd want to take a good camera along with me on this trip. Obviously, there are places that are even colder still, like the North Pole, but to be honest, I think I'd prefer to be sat in front of the fireplace, rather than be out there in the North Pole. Due to the snow, there are quite a few places around where I live that have closed down for a few days, such as the fairground. I've visited this place a few times when there's no snow on the ground. I've been on quite a few of the rides, many that will spin around and go up quite high as you hold on tight to whatever you can. The Ferris wheel, which gives great views of the entire fairground and beyond. Rides that rock back and forth, or perhaps even go upside down. And there are many other rides there too. And of course, no fairground is complete without a merry-go-round. Right next to the fairground is an area with many carnival games. You know, I'm sure a lot of the games are just down to having a bit of luck. Then again, I guess some skill is needed for some of the games. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a bit of fun, as long as everyone's enjoying themselves. It's nice and warm here indoors, but looking outside, it's still cold and snowing just as much as it was many hours ago. I can imagine that somewhere in the world right now, someone is just starting their day and going outside to shovel their drive to make a clear pathway. Then brushing off the snow that's completely covered their vehicle and they're probably thinking about turning on the car heater as soon as they can get in. Once the snow has been cleared and the car heater is on, they'll be driving down the road just taking it nice and slow. After all, there's no point in rushing around when it's snowy. I bet there's also someone in the world right now that's walking in the cold to get themselves from one place to another, despite the fact that they have to walk for miles to get to where they're going. And there's also likely to be someone, somewhere, that's got themselves a little stuck and are doing what they can to get going again. Whenever it snows, there are many places that can look very picturesque when the snow has covered almost every inch of the ground for as far as the eye can see. Maybe you already live in a snowy area. Maybe this is what you see every day. Maybe you're used to the cold and it doesn't bother you too much. But no matter what, it's still nice to come back to a warm, comfortable home when it's cold outside. You know, they say that when in a cold place, to help you feel warmer, simply imagine being somewhere hot. Somewhere that's so hot that being in the shade is a much better option. Somewhere that makes you want a nice cold drink. A place where you prefer to wear sunglasses whilst lying on a sun lounger. But does this trick actually work? Well, it might be worth a try, but it's best to wrap up warm though, as I'm not so sure that a simple mind trick 
would necessarily make everyone feel like it's a hot summer's day. I'm sure there are plenty of people that are happy to be outdoors, even when it's snowing and very cold. Some will find ways to keep themselves entertained out there, or ways to keep themselves warm, but it's quite likely that there are many people on their way home right now and can't wait to get out of the cold. Well, for me, at least for this evening, I'm just going to stay at home and relax in the warm for the rest of the night. <laughs>